Alan Hedgehead here with his next project. It's a Game Boy Advance game. Let's jump right into it. This is Dragon Ball Z, The Legacy of Goku. And right off the bat, I'm going to be hitting in a button combination. And I will say the button combination out loud. You can only type this combination in during movie clips. It's up, down, left, right, B, A. And it will make a tone when you do it right. And it can only be done in these movie clips. And here's a video game version of the opening theme song, Rock the Dragon, without the actual lyrics and stuff. It's just the footage. But that code that I put in is an invincibility code, which makes this game more enjoyable to me. Because if you follow Dragon Ball Z games, you know that the first Legacy of Goku game is not exactly what you'd call a masterpiece. And it's kind of ridiculously hard. So if you use the invincibility code, it makes the game a little bit more enjoyable, despite its functionality and playability. So we'll go ahead and pick New Game. Our story begins with our humble hero, Goku. It has been a long time since he has last seen his childhood friends. And so he has decided to meet with him at the house of his old martial arts master. Coming along with him is his six-year-old son, Gohan. Gohan, at this point in the series, is actually four. <laughs> so this game is already off to a wrong start. But here, let's... We're Goku. We can walk around just on an X and a Y axis, so it's only up, down, left, right. There's no diagonal. The punches are kind of wonky looking and generic. The music's kind of funky, so this is definitely the low point in the series. So let's walk up to this magazine. What an interesting magazine. Here's Turtle. Welcome back, Goku. Thanks, Turtle. Here's Master Roshi, Krillin, Gohan, and Bulma. Better keep Gohan from seeing this magazine. So, my let's play of The Legacy of Goku is probably going to be more of a video walkthrough than anything, since I'm not really taking damage from anything. And here's one more magazine inside Master Roshi's house. So I'm going to forego all the text of talking with everyone and just go straight to the point here. I've got to keep better track of these magazines. Thanks, Goku. You received a Senzu Bean. Oh, I guess I didn't lose that one after all. Thanks, Goku. We received another Senzu Bean. I thought Oolong had stolen that one from me. Of course, Master Roshi. Don't stare at those girls for too long, though. Hee-hee, <laughs> yippee. I don't know what he sees in those magazines. You received some herbs. Senzu Bean, should you be playing the game without the invincibility code, will refill your health bar all the way, and herbs refill it part of the way. And we get story experience points, because this is an action RPG. We reach level 2. <gasps> I can't believe this is happening! Oh man, what? There you are, Kakarot! Who's Kakarot? You are, of course. You're not from this planet. You are a Saiyan warrior like me, your brother. A Saiyan? Your brother? I don't believe you. You were sent here as a child to cleanse this pitiful planet of these humans, but somehow you've forgotten who you really are. It must have happened when you hit your head as a child, oh my. I would never do anything to hurt people. This is my home and these are my friends. I see if you become soft. Perhaps your son will make do in your place. What? Gohan? No! Daddy! Great, now Piccolo 2. Calm down, I'm not here to fight you. Huh? Why are you here then, Piccolo? We have enough to worry about. That guy who was just here, I met him earlier. I think he's much more powerful than both of us, Goku. So I suggest a truce. We can settle our own differences later. Why should we trust you? Because he's a bigger threat to me than you, Goku. Together, maybe we have a chance. 
No way, Goku! Don't listen to him! I'll go ahead without you, and we can meet up later. Us as a team? Sounds risky, but I like it. I better get going. I need to rescue my son. The fastest way to travel is... Nimbus! So here's our flying Nimbus cloud. We just walk into it, and we trigger a little scene. And now we're here, out in the open. And you can actually hit B and shoot key blasts. The meter up there stands for K and H. That's key and health. So if you haven't followed Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball, the story, Piccolo was actually a bad guy at the very end of Dragon Ball, and who steadily becomes a... Chi-Chi warned me yesterday about, the sna yesterday about the snake problems in the woods. I better watch my step. Yeah, that, the snakes can actually hurt you, but one little key blast takes them out. But yeah, Piccolo was is the ultimate enemy of Dragon Ball. He's the final enemy in the series. You, he, Goku and Piccolo fight in the World Martial Arts Tournament with ultimately ending up with Goku winning and Piccolo going off and vowing revenge. But, and then that ends the story of Dragon Ball, and Dragon Ball Z picks up like this. Goku revisits his old friends at Master Roshi's Island, and then Raditz lands on Earth and challenges Piccolo. Piccolo meets him, and then Raditz flies off to Goku, and we just saw what happened. So, we just go off into the forest here. Our main objective here is to fix all of the wrongs that are going on within the forest here. So, we want to come down here and pick up this rock. Because Goku apparently thinks it might be useful. There's a lot of things going wrong in the forest here, so we need to do that before we can progress. Here's another stone. I don't know why we have to clear up everything in this jungle forest area, but we do. I don't know why I'm going this way. Up here we have grass, so let's, let's see if this is the way I want to go. We can key blast those rocks, take these wolves out. Legacy of Goku 2 really, like, completely masters everything that was wrong with this game. It's it's a really amazing game, but this game, the not being able to run, no diagonal walking, the punches are kind of stiff, and your hitboxes are weird. It's just all around... A weird experience but they approve upon it so much in the next game so let's see if we can at least get some of the wrongs righted here in the forest these rocks are actually needed to build a bridge for a man who's stuck out in the lake but here we have Tien and Chiaotzu. If I can kill this wolf. And I killed a snake for level up awesomeness. Here's Chiaotzu. Hello, Goku. Good to see you, Chiaotzu. Are you okay? You look worried about something. My son is in trouble. I'm searching for him right now. Oh, no. Well, if I can help, let us know. I will, Chiaotzu, but I'm afraid I need to take care of this myself. Whatever is best. Story experience. Let's talk to Tien. Hey there, Goku. What brings you out here? I was about to ask you the same thing. I'm looking for Gohan. Something bad has happened. Oh no. Is there anything we can do to help? Thanks, Tien, but I need to handle this myself. Well, Chiaotzu and I are just training out here, so if you need help, just give the word. I think I can handle this. 
Besides, Piccolo is going to assist me. Piccolo? You're kidding, right? Don't ask. More story experience, and we level up. Don't want to go that way. Those things on the ground are actually flight energy, because if you hit R, you can fly, which is it's kind of useless right now. And here's the third stone. So we have all the stones we need. And you remember that pterodactyl we saw at the start? Well, she's actually missing her egg. So let me grab that for a lot circle. So here we want to fly over here. Grab that. I'm going to kill this pterodactyl because apparently he thefted that other pterodactyl's egg. Is, is that blood coming out of that thing's head? You got the pterodactyl egg. It looked more like a stone than it did an egg. So let's go back to the pterodactyl at the start of the forest. And then we will have done our first two objectives very shortly after that. Returning that egg is the first objective. And then building a bridge for the man trapped in the lake is the second objective. This, this game would be so much better if you could walk diagonally and run. But you can't. So let's... Here we go. My egg, you found it! We got some experience. So now let's walk this way. And get all these side quests done in the forest so we can progress and find Gohan. Raditz is a big jerk, isn't he? There's some snakes. Bam. Here's a flat circle, but here are where the stones come in handy. Well, look at that. Thanks for the stepping stones, boy. I'm not sure how you got out there in the first place, but try not to get stuck again, okay? I'll do my best. I got some herbs, some experience, and my walking speed increases. So, we've cleared up all the trouble in the first area of the forest. So, next time on Let's Play Dragon Ball Z The Legacy of Goku... We progress deeper into the city and try to find Gohan. I'm Alan Edgehead, and I'll see you next time.